Hey guys, it's Olivia. Today I wanted to film a video showing you guys my FIT portfolio. Even though I was accepted like two years ago, the portfolio requirements have not changed since then. I've wanted to film this video forever, I just never got around to filming it. I no longer go to the school, but I did get accepted and I did go for a semester, so I know that my portfolio was good. I remember when I was applying, I watched a lot of these portfolio videos and they were super, super helpful to like see what they looked like because when I was applying, I had literally no idea what I was doing. I also wanted to make this video because I feel like I'm a credible source to be getting this information from because one, like I said, my portfolio was accepted. Two, because I went to the FIT pre-college summer program. I took two classes at FIT. One of the ones I took was the portfolio class. I took it with Professor Cutting. Absolutely 100% recommend him if any of you are going to FIT. Professor Cutting is literally my favorite professor. The portfolio that I'm gonna show you guys is the portfolio that I made during my pre-college program class because the whole entire class was to make the portfolio to apply. So like it was, exactly how you're supposed to do it. What he says FIT standards are is what I have. So if you guys are planning on applying and need help with the portfolio and just want to know kind of an idea of what you should do to make it fit FIT standards, keep on watching. The first part of the portfolio is the mix and match and that is where you have to choose a destination and a season and then create a jacket, a top, a pant, and a skirt that go along with like the destination and the season. So these were the two that I created. You only have to turn in one, but in the class he had us create two just to have like options. So let's go over it really quick. Um, I think I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen, like here, and then I'll talk about it. What you're supposed to start off with when you're creating is your inspiration, and for the mix and match, they want you to choose a destination as your inspiration. You don't wanna pick something like Paris, or like New York City, or like a very popular overdone place. You wanna pick somewhere that is a little bit more unique. I ended up choosing Spain, and specifically, it was like a, a town in Spain. I don't remember the town anymore. I chose it because I wanted to use the castle that was in this town. This is the mood board I created for Spain. I'm gonna stick this up here as well while I talk about the mood board because we're gonna move to the mood board first since that was the inspiration and then I'll talk about the designs. You have to choose the destination, which mine was Spain, and then you have to choose a season and I chose winter because I felt like the castle just looked super beautiful in the winter and I liked how it looked. I think this one in the top left corner is a church. In the middle there's like these aqueducts. To add in a little bit more of like the Spain element, I added in like a Spanish dancer and then a big rose in the corner and then a bullfighter because those are all like Spanish things. Now that I'm looking at this, this is really similar to my final project that I did where we had to do Chanel and like an idol and I ended up doing Chanel and Selena. The amount of growth that I had from this to that is insane actually. Now that I'm looking at it, like it really shows like how much better I got in my like illustrations and design. Continuing on, I put Poderosa in the corner. That means like powerful in Spanish. She was supposed to be like powerful as in like a Spanish princess, like a modern day princess. That was like who my model was. You want to make sure if you're doing winter you want to choose thick fabrics that are going to keep her warm if you're in the spring you need to do like breezier fabrics and you get what i mean choose your fabrics based on the season because that is another thing that fit looks for so now that we're done with the mood board we're going to get onto the designs again so we'll pop that one back up here along with the clothes i wanted my model to represent my destination as well So I made her a little bit tan. She has dark hair and dark eyes, red lips. Looking at the pants and the jacket, like you can't have a crazy top to go with the crazy pants and the crazy jacket. So instead I did a very simple top, but it has like a seam down the middle and then like an interesting cutout at the waist. So it's like trying to make it a little bit more interesting, but also you have to have it be simple enough so that it will work with the other pieces. You can't just have a bunch of crazy things going on at once. I don't really have much to say about the designs except that this is what I designed. I don't really want to go into detail with it because it's really not important.
the mix and match directions say that you have to have a front view and a back view. So I put both my models on one board with the fabrics. You don't have to do this. You can set it up however you want. Here's another example for a different design that I did where you can put one design, the fabrics, and the flats. And this is what I did for the back of the design because you do have to show the front and the back. But what my professor told me is that FIT prefers to see the front of the design with color and then the back of the design in flats. And flats are these technical little drawings that show that you know the construction of what you are making. You have to draw on like the little stitch lines and the seam lines and any little like details you're adding like the zipper. Those are what flats are and those are what you should be doing if you want to follow FIT's standards. I liked the idea of putting both of my designs on one with the fabrics, and then I have another page of the flats. I did front and back flats just to take up more room because it was weird to just put like two little flats, and then said I wanted all of them on here just to make it look better. You don't have to do that. Do whatever you want. Just make sure you have a front view, back view, and your fabrics. And you also want to label your fabrics of what they are because they want to know that you know fabrics that you're using. Let's move on to the second one for the second example. Again, I did my two models and then the fabrics. And then again, you need the flats to show the construction because FIT is all about construction. There's like the skirt with the little beads, pocket design, stitches, seams, zippers, you know. You get the gist of it. Moving on to like the free designs where you can draw whatever you want. It doesn't have to have like a theme or anything. It's kind of just like free range. Mine kind of had a little bit of a theme. I wanted to go with a different vibe. I wanted to do a little bit more of a laid back, pink girly style, which was more of my design aesthetic. Kind of want to show you guys my favorite last. This was probably the weakest design that I turned in just because it's a plain old jumpsuit with ruffles so it's like pretty basic not anything new can move up and look at that a little bit this jersey blend is like actually much lighter pink than I wanted it to be so I took a marker and I colored it you don't want to put a fabric on here that doesn't match the drawing do what you got to do and color if you have to another thing is this like piping detail it's supposed to be the piping in between these seams right here, like this little black line. That's supposed to be this piping right here. And I didn't have piping, so you know what I did? I made this piping by shoving like some fabric inside of another fabric and then just sewing a line. So I literally made my own piping for this. Moving on to the next one. I really like like how creative I was with this one, but also it kind of gives me like pirate vibes. I made this one last minute because I originally had this one and I just was like, this is so ugly, this is so basic, like, this is just not good enough. A plain striped jumpsuit, not FIT portfolio worthy. I did the same thing where I colored this one to match this. Next one. This one, I love this design because... This design came from like a drawing book from like when I was little and this was one of the dresses that I drew like a new and improved version of like a design I did when I was really young. Another thing to think about is when I was drawing this my professor was saying like my lines were like too sharp and neoprene is like a very thick material so he told me I had to make my lines softer because that's not how that fabric works. So you want to think about how your fabric works when you're drawing as well. This is my second favorite one. I just love the pants that I created basically just because I like love this fabric that I found. The idea for the pants just stemmed from this fabric. This is a different layout. These are all just some examples of how you can lay it out. It's all up to you. It's all about like what you think looks good and how the pieces like fit on it. And then for the last one, this is my favorite one that I created. This was like inspired by the last season of Project Runway. There was one designer, his name was Brandon, and he did the coolest stuff. I was in love with his designs. This was like inspired by like his design aesthetic where he did like little straps and stuff hanging down. And I actually really love how this came out. Damn, now I kind of want to start sewing again. Like, maybe I'll get back into sewing. I'm about to leave on a three month trip to Europe, but like when I get back, maybe I'll start sewing again. It just like takes so much time. Ugh, like I kind of want to make this like this is cool as Again another layout. This is different from the ones before got the outfit three fabrics and then the flats
that is it for my FIT portfolio. I hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, definitely leave them below. I don't really have anything else to say. So I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and peace.